Hi heathens! So for today's video, yes I am wearing the same outfit as my last video, thank you for noticing. Anyway, today's video we are going to be unboxing my August 2021 BoxyCharm base box. So for those of you who do not know, BoxyCharm is a $25 a month subscription. It is like a beauty makeup, I hate calling it a wellness and health subscription because I didn't know if I shut my door or not. There's very rarely those kind of items, but sometimes. Um, so $25 a month, you're supposed to receive, I believe, five full-size items or deluxe travel size. And uh, without further ado, let's get on in because every month they allow you to pick one item if you choose to, like the month prior. I don't remember what my item was. Could not tell you. So we're going to find out. I'm sure as soon as I look in here, I'll remember, but otherwise we will see. I have a bare face because I don't know what's in here. So um, depending on what I get, we might try some stuff on. So let's get in. And as always, I leave a link down below if you would like to sign up for BoxyCharm. It's a link that takes you straight into the like sign up stuff. So this month's theme is go all out. And on the back, it gives us our items and pricing. Okay, so I see something in here that I've really been wanting to try and I'm pretty excited. And then these are my other items. Hmm. I remember what I picked now and I don't know if I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so first item, which I am very excited for, this is the Dido or Dido. I'm honestly not sure how to pronounce the brand, but I see them on sale on the Ipsy um, shopping tab all the time. And this is the Venus palette, which is apparently a limited edition palette. It says it is 12 shades. Uh, let me try to cut it open. It has a sticker holding it shut. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. They have very interesting palettes. Um, all of them are like different circular shapes. And then you have a combination of like mattes and shimmers and then this one up in the corner looks like it might be a glitter or like a highlighter very very pretty oh yeah it's like a light soft glitter Ooh, i can't wait to use that okay um yeah let's go ahead and give this a go we're going to use a few of these shades because my eyes are bare so we're going to give it a go like i said there's different like textures in here we also have this one down at the bottom that's like little balls. So we'll swatch that one too. Oh, that's a weird feeling, very pretty. Um, we have Deimos, which is like another glitter. Very, very pretty. And then we have a few of the like, um, what look like they're gonna be like matte shades, but shimmers. This is Ganymede. I don't know how to pronounce that. I am probably saying that all kinds of wrong. I'm gonna swatch those three. The pigment is there. All right, let us not waste time and get on in. I'm gonna take a fluffy wet and wild blending brush and I'm gonna tap into Mercury first, which is a matte like tan or nude shade and we're just gonna put that all into the crease to just build up a base there is a little bit of uh, I'm gonna get a little more light there's a little bit of kickback with these so just something to keep in mind um, I'll tap into Phobos which looks like it's the only other pure matte shade I think the amount of kickback I'm gonna try to show you is due to the like texture of these that you're getting a lot because of the ridges. So let's go for kind of a halo eye with this look. I did one of those for work today. So it's like fresh on my mind to wanna do because the one for work turned out pretty good. I'm not gonna like fully cut crease cause I'm not gonna do anything quite that dramatic. Okay, then let's take it up just a little bit more into the center. 
on both sides. It's a little jaggedy, but that's okay. Um, I want to try to tap into some of these like shimmery mattes, like sheen satin shades. So this one is called Tin. I'm going to use the same brush and just see how it applies. So I've mixed it with a little of that Phobos shade. And I want to put it here and then take it across the crease. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the shimmer. I'm sure it would look way better with a different kind of brush. But, you know, we're just, we're seeing what we're capable of here. Because like I said, this is a brand that I've been really wanting to try. And every time I've had the funds to get it from the Ipsy shop tag, um, it's sold out before I can. Um, but I do want to try to take a flat brush with one of these like shinier shades to see if it works like with this formula. So I'm going to tap into Earth, which is like this bronze. I don't know if you can see. Mm, a little. I feel like it's definitely going to be better with my finger. Yeah, let's hold that brush to the side for a second. All right, I'm going to tap my finger into it. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Oh, yeah. And it's like almost a duochrome. There's a little bit of pink reflect in there. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That's exciting. Anyway, next item. Let me put my glasses on. Ooh, I might run out of memory on this one. All right, then we have Earth Harbor Aqua Aura Restorative Eye Cream. It is seaweed collagen and blue tansy. Just a little thing of eye cream. We have, oh, this is exciting. We have Kate Somerville, which I just got the goat milk for um, from Kate Somerville in one of my Ipsy mystery bags. This is the Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. It has lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. Put that over there with that. Then we have a Manicadar Skincare Hydration Happy Hydrating Face Mist. Let's pop her open and see how it sprays. Because, you know, with facial sprays, what was I trying to say? With facial sprays, that's a big, like, it play. Ooh, that smells really good. That plays a big role in whether or not I wind up liking it. Oh, that's nice and fine. Oh, it smells really nice. Okay, and then the last thing I have, which I <laughs> is the Perlis Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40. I have mine in the shade Fair. Now, the only reason I'm a little <laughs> about this, where's my brush that I use for foundations? Um, I may have put it back. Yes. So the only reason I'm a little iffy about this is because I tried a Perlis. I don't remember if it was the BB cream or CC cream in the past. And it did not um, fare well on my skin. So we'll see how this one works. Um, hopefully a little bit better because it's a different um, formula. So we're going to take the little cap off. If not, I'm sure I can easily find someone who can use this because it is a BB cream. So in theory, as long as they're relatively close to my skin tone, it should work for them because obviously a BB cream isn't going to be quite as heavy or thick or full coverage in most cases as a foundation. So this is the color. So we're going to mix that up a little bit on my hand and pop a little on different parts of my face. And see if we have enough. If not, we'll just squeeze a little bit more out. But I've used almost everything that's on my hand. So we're just gonna go in and spread it across the face. Now, depending on how this works uh, for my skin tone, or excuse me, for my skin type, I meant, I might be able to use it because it is a good tone, is what I was trying to say, uh, because it does sheer out, but it's providing me just a little bit of coverage. Like I can definitely 
see the difference like where I've blended it out I just noticed that my phone case is starting to peel a little bit that's disappointing anyway you can definitely smell the SPF in it but it doesn't have much of a scent other than that I love the way it looks on the skin I feel like if I were to set it like if I was gonna wear it I'm gonna take what little bit that's left on my hand if I were to wear it out and about I feel like I'd want to set it just in case because right now it's not dewy but it's not matte um, so I feel like as the day would go on and my oils would start to come out this might look a little harsh <laughs> as far as oiliness but right off the bat we're already looking way better than the other BB cream I'm using that Mana Kadar so it's promising um, I'm excited to continue to try it now one thing I do want to do is tap back into this palette and use that shade I was talking about in the top for a highlighter so I'm gonna just take a small highlighting brush and I'm gonna tap into the shade Venus oh yeah look at that I don't know if it'll pick up on camera it's just a nice faint get a little closer pink glitter very pretty definitely the kind of shade I like as an actual face highlighter would obviously look great on the inner corner but okay I am so excited about this box okay last month I was excited but I was like hmm, is this as good as some have been but this month full redemption in my opinion where's my price okay now prices we have the I knew it was going to be pricey first thing on here is the Kate Somerville exfoliate moisturizer it is $70 um we have the Perlice BB cream is $38 expensive we have the Dido Cosmetics limited edition Venus 12 shade palette $29.99 pricey but beautiful um, the Earth Harbor Naturals Eye Cream, $34, and the Mana Kadar Happy Hydration, no, Hydration Happy Face Mist, $19. So the cost is definitely there. Um, I think this is one of the first boxes in a while that I'm actually really excited about everything. While I do have enough eye creams, I love the Earth Harbor brand, um, so I'm very excited about that one. And, uh, I'm excited to give this BB cream a go like I think it looks good and I didn't use a whole lot I don't know if it can be built up but like this is the level of coverage I'm actually okay with so give y'all another little close-up of everything let me know your thoughts down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed let me know what kind of products you received and subscribe to see more of my content I'll see you guys next time bye